That's the end. That's it. That's it. Hi, everybody. Hello. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. How is everybody doing today? Get on in here, everybody. How are we? Are we feeling good? It is Wednesday, and I thought I would start with a bit of a Kazooie sort of adventure, if that's okay. Uh, Berry Dealy, thank you for 100 bits. Hello, hello. Um, Little Lily Light. Thank you for the prime sub, Aruni. I appreciate it. And you know, I think yesterday I missed a sub from Bridgie Boo. So thank you for the 10 months, dude. I think I missed that uh, in my, in the heat of the moment. The heat of the moment was GeoGuessr, which we'll be doing more of today because I was super into it and I want to do more. <laughs> That's the best jacket I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you, but I will not be handing it over. It belongs to me and me alone. Um, still rocking the new Lazio Fleas? Yes, yes I am. Uh, yeah, I thought it could be fun to do some more Geo Guesser today. Um, I haven't really done it before, but I know of it. It's like been on my radar for a long time. Um, so, you know, I wanted to... <laughs> I wanted to get on it, you know? I wanted to be a... I wanted to get my geography skills up a bit. Um, question from Gusto. Um, that question is, I'm going to walk 
to an active volcano later. Should I eat the lava? Um... It's kind of like a one-time-only kind of thing. You can only do it once, so... Yeah. Give it a try. Give it a... Give it a... Give it a... Give it a taste. I can't think of anything that's gonna go wrong. I can't think of what could possibly go wrong. Uh, high five McDonough. Thank you very much for the four months. Appreciate it, dude. And also Sailor Neptune. Thank you for the nine months. Twitch baby. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, indeed. Um, that is a whole baby patat. Treat it well, eat it well. That's what I always say. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. Gil Harmon advert has been reviewed. A Gil Harmon advert. Douchey Nask, Znask has redeemed a Gil Harmon advert for edible lava. Edible lava. Okay. Here we go. Um, let's give this a shot. Edible lava. All right. Uh, give me just a second, and we will get Gil. Uh, we will get we will get Gil going. Here we go. Hi there! I'm Gil Harmon! Are you sick and tired of all your food being super bland? Well, boy, have I got the thing for you. It's gonna put a bit of a, a, a kick in your mouth. A, ki a little kick in your mouth. What's, what is it gonna be? A, a ghost chili? I hear you cry? No, 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 no. Something a little spicier than that. That's right, for the first time ever, Edible lava has been manufactured at Gill Food Gill Inc. And we make the most edible food that you will ever eat. So get yourself some lava and just gulp it down. It also comes in biscuit form, little magma biscuits. That just sounds delicious. So grab it. Juice, biscuits, spaghetti. We have many different foods. Um, but don't... I think he was going to say something quite important there. Don't, don't do something. But ooh, doesn't a lot? Maybe lava cake. Doesn't lava cake t uh, sound amazing? <sighs> Molten lava cake. I would eat that. Oh, by the way, guys, marbles. Get on that. Get on that. Toasty. It's pretty toasty, honestly. I should get on that as well. Um. Oh, before I forget, before I forget, I uh, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to r r remember this. I made some notes on my phone earlier, titled Dream, um, because I woke up, I had very vivid dreams last night, incredibly vivid dreams last night, uh, and I, would, I wanted to try and read them back on stream, but in my tired state, I can see that they don't really make much sense here. Basically, I woke up really early today, and then I decided that I wanted to sleep for a little longer because I, I, I was I was just so tired this morning. So I went back to sleep. So I had two dreams. I had two dreams. The first one, I was watching a trailer of a film sequel. I, I think I had made a film, and I was in it, and then a, a sequel had been made to that film, and the trailer had people turning into werewolves. And I was with, like, some group of people. We were all watching. I think I was, like, with the people that are in the Avengers movies. Um, we were all watching the sequel trailer. And everyone looked away, but I kept watching the trailer. The very last thing in the trailer, a little sausage dog walks out with the head of Jeremy Renner. Uh, and I thought it was the most terrifying thing ever. I was like, guys, you, wait. Replay the trailer. You just missed the most terrifying bit of the trailer. And it, ch it sent chills down all of our... Spines. Jer and Jeremy Renner's head on a, on a little dog. I don't know if that's an actual film, but that was not even the weirdest. Oh my god! Right? That was not even the weirdest uh, dream I had. Then I went back to sleep, and when I woke, when I, when I went back to sleep, I had this dream. I was flying around, and it felt so, so good. I was just like gliding. I was sort of like horizontal, like facing forwards, and I was just flying. The physics. The, the physics felt amazing. However, I miss... I, I miss flowed 
misflown for a second and I had a terrible accident. And Darth Vader told my parents that I had died. And I could see this happening. I wasn't dead, but I had had a terrible accident and I'd lost my voice in this accident. I was like, I crashed and there was a, and I lost my voice. And I saw Darth Vader telling my parents, sorry, he's dead. And I was trying to shout to my parents, I'm not dead. But they were like, oh, okay. So then they went off with Darth Vader. And then some. And then I've written here, the Imperial Federation took me and turned me into a droid because I couldn't speak anymore. And I just remember being put into this machine, screaming. But I couldn't, no sound was coming out. Um, yeah, my parents, they, in, this, in this dream, they didn't seem to care. They were just like, okay. Thank you, Darth Vader. Thank you for telling us. Uh, so that was kind of sad. And then I got turned into a droid. And then I woke up. Honestly, that was horrible. It was so horrible. Yeah. So yeah, not wouldn't recommend those dreams. Wouldn't recommend them. If anybody's thinking of having my dreams. Am I okay? No. Um, the Scare Lab, thank you for the 100 bits. I was just browsing the GeoGuess attack when I got your notification. Uh, you psychic, psychic man, thank you. I have, I have the powers. I have the powers. Uh, yeah, I've just put a little command there um, where um, people are welcome to help with some hints, like little hints here and there. Um, I wouldn't consider it backseating, but as long as you don't Google it. I don't want people to just Google like a street sign and be like, oh, I figured it out, you're here. We want to try and, like, you know, figure it out organically, you know? Um, I, haven't, I haven't decided which one I want to do yet. I think I want to start with UK and then maybe do cities. I want to show off some more nicer parts of the UK as well. I feel like... Um, I feel like what we did yesterday... I suppose the, the, the stuff in Scotland was quite nice. But we were in some... We were just in the middle of some fields, man. It wasn't great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there, Believe me, there are nice parts of the UK. Um, Mel Claude, thank you very much for the nine months. It's twins. Oh, my God. It's twins. Do we have triplets in the chat? Maybe. Uh, it, thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Infinite Laura, thank you for the two months. Uh, would love some magma biscuits, not gonna lie. Oh, don't they just sound so good? Just take a little bite and then nice hot, fresh out of the oven. Fresh out of the volcano. Um, is this fee? Thank you for the 12 months. A whole year of subs. I appreciate that, dude. I must say, I have the utmost affection for you and have always looked up to you as an artist. Anyway, marbles. Oh, thank you very much. That is, that is too kind. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um... Shirley, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, PJ. Uh, it's midnight here, and I have to work tomorrow, so I got to sleep. Uh, but I want to say hi and wish you a good stream. Thank you very much. Have a good sleep. Iridium Meal, thank you very much for the three gifted subs. Uh, that is too kind of you. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Uh, yeah, as Mary says there, don't, like, Google a sign. Or, like, yeah, don't Google Lens. We, we want to figure it out organically, you know. We want to figure it out organically. Um, and yeah, before we get started, we are going to play some marbles to decide today's Bozo. Today's ultimate Bozo. We decide it with a round of marbles. Uh, so if you want to get in on this, type play in the chat down here, exclamation mark play, and you will be joined. You will be whisked away to the world of marbles, which we're actually going to start in just a moment. So get in now. Um, Callum Malloy, thank you very much for the five months. Uh, love the content, dude. Thank you very much. I always, I always appreciate it. Thank you. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, let us go over to the game mode, which is here. Pa -pa pow 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 uh, Let me get some music ready, and, um, we will be going off to a wonderful world. Let me see. What music have we got? What's good for marbles? Let's see. Have I got anything new? I actually do have a bunch of new stuff here, actually. Let's see. What do we got? Um, yeah, I got one. I got one. All right, you guys ready? Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. We're going to the beautiful, cute family. And they're off. Oh, it's the look, it's a little porky pig family. 
It's- this isn't fucking terrifying at all. Alright. Chassis Blue taking the lead through the spiky farm. Oh, Egg with Feelings and Sid have caught up, but it looks like it's anyone's race at this point. Which way are they gonna go? Egg has gone left. And there seems to be a bit of a, a pile-up. Egg with Feelings. This is looking good for the Egg with Feelings. This pile-up is just insane. M M Mega has, has, has gone ahead, but I don't know if it's a little too late, too little too late. Egg with Feelings has just had such a, a brilliant por pork start. I, I meant to say... What did I mean to say? <laughs> Sorry, the level is completely throwing me off. And yes, I, it looks like me. I know, I know it looks like me. So you go into this little pig house here. Oh god, this looks a bit nefarious. Alright, here we go. I think it's Egg. Egg with Feelings. There was no messing about. Egg with Feelings had one goal. And they are fulfilling that goal. Egg, if you want a bit of advice, buy a lottery ticket today. Trust me. Trust me. And there we go. The egg takes it. Scam zombie in second. We got it. We got it. It has been decided. All right. Uh, all right. Now, whilst uh, the rest of the marbles roll in, we'll get some uh, some chill music on. Come on, marbles! Everybody, fall in. So, what is this map exactly? Is some kind of like pig house? I'm not gonna lie. The the pigs are really terrifying. Is anybody else a little terrified of these pigs? I don't know, man. I don't. I feel like they're all they're just there. That we do it like you know, we're rolling for their amusement. No, man. These pigs. There's something evil within these pigs. Something very, very evil about these pigs. They give you bad vibes? Yeah. You and me both. Alright, is the, is the race over? Nearly. Come on, Malog. And it's over! Hold up. It is all over, everybody. We have decided. A winner. Egg with feelings. The marbles have chosen you. The the marbles have chosen you. Is there anything you'd like to say? If so, now is the time to say it. I'll get you added as today's ultimate bozo. Egg with feelings. Tomorrow I will dream about pigs, yes. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Uh, egg is best. True. True words have never been spoken. Have an egg on me. This is what a gracious winner looks like, everybody. This is what a gracious winner looks like. Well, I am proud to announce that you are today's. Bozo. Congratulations. Thank you all for playing. We have decided on our ultimate bozo for today. How fun. Uh, and I'm loving these. I'm loving the egg puns in the... I'm loving the egg puns in the chat there, guys. I always do love a good egg pun. So how was that? Did we, did we, we enjoy rolling around at the speed of sound? Um, I've got a couple of messages here. Uh, Just Rat Things. Thank you for gifting a sub to Egg With Feelings. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and Woodman, thank you for the four months. Thanks for the chill, it's fun vibes. Time. Dude, don't even mention it. And what is this I see before my very eyes? Toasty Mini Mallows has redeemed the one, the only, the... Bobby, baby, Bobby. We are blessed. We are truly blessed today. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, every stream, we start with a marbles race, but you've got to be in it to win it. You've got to be in it. If you want to be an ultimate bozo, you have to be, You have to enter. You're never going to get anywhere without entering oh a marbles my race. God. It's just not going to happen. Uh, so we'll be back for some more of that. Uh, you know, I don't actually know if we'll be doing marbles. I, uh, tomorrow, I might actually not be streaming tomorrow. Or maybe I will, actually. No, maybe I will. I'll let you guys know. 24-hour marble stream? I don't think my, my little marble-sized brain could take it. <laughs> uh, Emily Nazer, thank you very much for the three months. Appreciate it. Will I play Minecraft again? Yeah, for sure. There's a new update coming out this year for Minecraft. So, uh, yeah, I'll definitely jump back into my world. Fuji land. Uh, I'll definitely have to jump in and see where we got to. I would lose my marbles, exactly. No, I do want to stream. I uh, I might just... it's I might have something... Uh, I might be doing some filming tomorrow, so I don't know if I will be around, but I might be around. I should be around. Um, Lauren, thank you very much for the seven months. Appreciate that very much. Thank you very much. Um, okay, guys. So, no messing around. You've seen the title. Where are we dropping? Is my question. Where are we dropping? You want an, and the answer to that? I don't know yet. Somewhere in the UK. Yes, it may be a video to do with ba uh, bagels, yes. It may be bagels, it may be bagels. Uh, so I, I say we jump in and start playing. Uh, we, we, we did a little bit yesterday, just because I'd never done it before. And I'm very keen to try it out and see what happens. Uh, so yes, like I said, you're very welcome to give hints, but please do not Google anything. Do not, basically no cheating, because if you cheat, you're really cheating yourself. You know? So, um, yeah. What kind of hints are you okay with? If we recognize languages, do you want us to tell you? Um, uh, you know, that's actually a good question. Because I suppose if I was doing what country am I in, somebody could very easily just say, oh, you're in this country. Maybe for now. To be honest, I think we're going to start with United Kingdom. I kind of want to just do some exploring of United Kingdom. So, uh, I guess hints of, like, the general, like, maybe stuff like... North, south, hotter, colder, that kind of stuff could be cool. Like, <laughs> if you know, I mean, I suppose you'd have to know for a fact. This is where it gets a bit difficult. I suppose it's up to me to take the hints or not. Um, but yeah, if I'm getting closer or further away, that could be pretty helpful, I suppose. Um, Dolphin Zebra, thank you very much for the, for the sub. Welcome to the Sweet Potato family. And also, um, uh... Me Young Che, thank you very much for the uh, Prime sub. Also, welcome to the Sweet Potato family. Uh, yes, that is a good, good point. Don't be careful not to dox yourself through um, GeoGuessr. That would be uh, that would be terrible. Um, so here we are. I've actually paid for a subscription now, so we can do whatever we want, however much we want. Uh, so let's jump in. Oh, it's me! Oh, where are we dropping? That's me, okay. Um, cool. So let's let's jump in. I don't see any reason not to. Let's let's play. So we'll do a bit of Oh shit, this is my house. Um, um Alright. Is it has actually just dropped me directly out. Have I got something turned on where it says like have I put like my location have I turned my location? Settings on or something? That's my car! Hang on. Is there a way to delete a stream? Mods? <laughs> Alright. That's me! I'm in the window! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm kidding. Is there any way to delete the internet? So, um, anyway, we are outside a residential house. Where are we? I don't know. I have my pen. 
and I have my paper, my, my sticky notes. Uh, I need to delete all of Twitch. I believed him for a sec. Well, that's because I'm a good liar. <laughs> yes, I've got a little notepad to make notes along the way because uh, I want to remember, like, uh, if I see something of importance. Um, currently, I do not see anything of importance. Uh, so we are going to start walking down the road and see what we can see. Uh, let's have a look. What's this? The chapel. No, that looks like it could be important. Let's have a look. Danger overhead cables. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> um, what do we got here? H. Brown. So these are letting agents. This doesn't... I don't think... Does this tell me 01422? I'm not good enough at geography to know... Um, the area code by with the number. A Zurich guarantee. No, this does not tell me enough. Is that a street sign? Can I? I can't go over there though. Okay. I suppose the chapel. That's a clue. I'm by the chapel. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna write it down. The chapel. Doesn't look like a, particularly like a church to me, but it could be. Uh, and then what is this? Hang on a minute. This is, a. Uh... I'm hoping to, like, learn... I'm hoping to, like, expand my, um, knowledge of geography here with all of this. Wesley Yan. Does that help me? I don't think so. I'm gonna write it down. I don't know if there's, like, a particular technique to doing GeoGuessr. This is literally... I've not really done much of this. <sighs> right, so this is a dead end. Oh god, there's a cemetery. Oh, okay, so, alright. So, I'm gonna write down cemetery. Cemet- How do you spell- Alright, just write down cemetery. So maybe, yes, maybe it is a chapel. Um, I'm gonna have a- I thought it was an allotment. It's actually not. It's just a garden. Okay, dead end. We need to go the other way, I think. Oh, uh, can I- can I leave this area, please? Fuck it. Alright, back to the start. Return to start. Uh, I think we need to try going this way. Is this a main road? Oh, god, I should have gone this way to start with. Uh, excuse me, what does this say? Dick? Dicky, Dicky Harry? Uh, I feel like there should be a clue here. The chapel. Sotherum. 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 That's got to be the place. Sotherum Methodist Chapel com Conversion. Six Luxury One. Oh, if this plant wasn't in the way. Is that a place, do you think? <laughs> Sotherum? Spain, 100%. <laughs> Seems northern. Hmm. I guess we'll uh, keep adventuring then. Chapel Lane. That helps. I'll write down Chapel Lane. Because um, that is literally the road that our thing is on. So if we can find where in the country we are, uh, that might help. Sounds very British, but it, looks, it does look misspelt weirdly. What do we got? Holland's house, the stables. Um, yeah, I'll write that down. Holland's house, stables. All right, let's take a little trip down the road. See if we can get any clues of where we are. Uh, what is this? Another. There's a lot, lot of stuff for sale around here. Walker Singleton. No, that's the name of the letting agency, or the... Yeah. <laughs> that's the name of the place selling it. Yorkshire or Derbyshire? It could be. Um, Schmallot, thank you very much for the question. Did you end up uh, playing at all with Sophie? Um, no, we didn't get a chance last night. Sophie had um, prior uh, uh, arranged uh, arrangements. So uh, we didn't get a chance. I did play a little bit by myself, though, and uh, I enjoyed it. 
She was going to join the stream today, but she was a bit busy, so she'll join either later or um, another day. Because I'd like to do. I think if I'm enjoy if I enjoy Joe Guessa, I'd like to do it again. I didn't realize this was something that people streamed. For sale. Oh, a for sale sign. Any more clues? Boo cocks. First dicks, now cocks. This place is filth. Whatever this town is, filth. There's a tarmac van. There's a place in Brighton called Lafarge Tarmac. And every time I see it, um, it just makes me want to say Lafarge. Lafarge, like that. Lafarge Tarmac. I don't know who Lafarge is. Uh, Charles Avenue. All right, we're finding more places. I still don't know where in the country I am is the problem. Charles Avenue. At least we've got a lot to go off of. Charles Avenue. Cromwell Road. Cromwell Road. See, this is the other confusing thing, is that I know for a fact we've got a Cromwell Road in Brighton, but this isn't Brighton. We have, like, London Road. There's, like, a London Road in every uh, every city. Also, this person's not finished painting their fence. Uh, this, this odd shade of green. Yeah, we're guessing inside the UK. So, we already know what country it is. We just need to know where the heck we are. Right, skip up the road a bit. Oof. I'm already, my legs were already uh, getting sore um, from this climb. Uh, Nat the Bee, thank you for the three months. Happy three months. I made an imaginary cake to celebrate. Would you like a slice? Dude, I would love a slice of imaginary cake. Are you kidding me? That sounds delicious. Nope, that's just another. God, there's so much stuff for sale here. Plumbing company? Sunnybank Plumbing. Sunnybank. I don't think we're in a... I think... Is there a place called Sunnybank? Should we check the bus stop? Metro. Here to get you there. Thanks. Not really getting any clues from this. Okay. A little bit further. What do we got here? The beauty mill. That is where beauty is formed. There in the beauty mill. Uh, what do we got here? Artisan. The only name in fireplaces and stove. Hmm. The, the pack horse. Ooh, that could actually be quite helpful to look out for on the map. Hold on. The pack horse. Um, watch live sports on big screen TV. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. It has a beer garden, yes. Brig house? Where does it, does it say brig house somewhere? Wait, is that a place? Brig house. Is brig house a place? I can't tell. The Pack Horse. That will be um, a pub. That will be quite helpful for, like, looking out. Metro buses. Yorkshire! <gasps> Alright, we're in business. We're somewhere in Yorkshire. Maybe. Halifax. Oh, I know, uh... I know someone from Halifax. It does... It, you're, so, we're, our instincts that it was north was correct. It does feel very north. See if we can find any more. Stop! Turn left. That's not how the song goes. <laughs> Stop! Turn left time. <laughs> um. Uh, thank you very much, Tiny Starfields, for the two months. I've been loving the streams. I'm excited to see more Minecraft content. Hell yeah, dude. We'll be getting back on with Minecraft at some point in the near future. Associated Waste Management Limited. Uh, cool for a quote. Why do none of you put your where you are, where the town you're in, <laughs> on your vans? 
man, it's a little bit, um, it's a weird reminder of the current sort of state we're in when you go around and you see like signs on the, th on the window saying, please wear a mask and like, um, NHS signs in all the windows. Like it really does just remind you, <laughs> these must be quite recent photos. So, okay, Sotheram is definitely, if we're in West Yorkshire, I would bet that Sotheram, however that's pronounced, is the town name or something. Man's got a Sainsbury's bag. Which man? <gasps> We've got you. We've fucking caught you. Caught you on New Street. Red-handed, or orange-handed, with a Sainsbury's bag. Dun, dun, dun. Halifax on the van. Which van? Gingerbread house! Day nursery. I'm gonna write down day nursery. Gingerbread, because that could help me find it on the map. Gingerbread house. It's not actually made out of gingerbread, though, because that would be bad for the kids. Which van? Which van? Oh, <gasps> Halifax, baby, Halifax. All right. I think I've got enough information to start looking on my map. All right, let's do a zoom. Here we go. So, uh, Yorkshire. Where exactly? Now, I don't actually... Uh, I don't know York too well. Uh, Halifax. There we go. Now, we're looking for Sotheram. Sotheram. Somewhere. Well, we found, we found, we found Halifax, which is a good start. It's there? <laughs> that doesn't help me. <laughs> it's there! Below? Sotheram! <gasps> Pharmacy. Okay, village news. We did see a news agents, but this might not be exactly where we are. A church? Church lane. Have I seen a church lane? I saw a cemetery. If I can locate a cemetery, then we'll be very close. Bowling club? I think that's a little out. Sotheram. Community center? What is this little Stardew Valley village? The social club? Where's the social club? Social club. <gasps> when did we see the social club? How, uh, so the social club is here. At what point in our little adventure did we see the, uh, gingerbread to the right? Oh, so it is. Oh, <gasps> so this is where we are right now then, I think. So if I make my way back, so I went this way or I came, maybe I came this way. I'm looking for child. If I can get back to the chapel. Yeah, I need to I need to find my starting point. So I need Oh, there, wait, chapel. Church Lane. Chapel Chapel Lane. I think this might be it, guys. Hold on. Let's go back to the beginning. Return to start. So if I go to the edge, let's see what we can see. There's a big house there. Chapel Lane starts there and goes up there. So we must be on Cane Lane going on Church Lane. And then that'll be... So that big house there is that big house there, I think. And then... That, in theory, is that... Hold on. Get me down there. Which means the house that we started at 
my house, um, here would be that one, the long one. That's a nice house. With a garage. I think this is it. I think this is it. I think we found it. I think we're here. Just to check. So there's a fork. There should be a fork in the road. Just here. And there is. One that goes up that way. I think we've done it, guys. Holy shit. I think we've literally found our exact spot. So if I return to start. Yeah. I'm, I'm literally right here. I think this could be it. I'm not good at this, no. Um, we work together. We all we all work together. All right, please let this be correct. Mmm, spot on, baby. <laughs> yes. Guys, we did it. Oh my god. Congratulations. Congratulations. You've made the right choice. You've made the right choice. Yeah, so when um, when two people redeem it at the same time, it just doubles up. Great. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, guys. Uh, thank you, Maddie and Anna. <laughs> spot on, guys. We were spot on. Oh my god, we were okay. We were four yards off. That was fun, guys. That was so good. That was so so good. Let's do another. Don't expect this to go any better. God, these bloody parking signs are everywhere. You're, you're not allowed to park here between 9 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. Monday to Saturday. Some days are free for permit holders only or for two hours, but you're not allowed to return within three hours. Oh my God, please shoot me in the head. I don't, I don't, I can't work out what that means. <laughs> that that kind of stuff is so does not come naturally to me. When I when I see signs like this, it does not come naturally to me. Is this your house? Uh, uh, yes, that is my house. This actually looks a bit like Brighton. But I don't think it is. Foil Road. All right, let's start a new one. My first guess is Bedford. <laughs> um. Uh, Gabides Croy. Gab? I'm gonna call you Gab. Thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, I have properties all over the house. Um, okay, so we st we're on Foil Road. Foil Road. That is our starting point. Right. What can we see? Well, this is London. <laughs> we're in London. Um... Oh man, my my knowledge of uh, London is not good. Um, at least I think we are. Is this London? Or like, it could it be Manchester as another is another big city? Greenwich. You know that for a fact that we're in Greenwich. I always forget specifically where Greenwich is. I know I have been there. It is a big place if it helps. It's like near the end of the line, isn't it? You don't think it looks like Manchester? So I think it's London. Well, I mean, let's have a little look around before we start committing. Those buildings just look like London to me. But maybe it's not. But also, these parking restrictions stink of London. I feel like I've driven here before. <laughs> what have we got? What's this? Restal Close. That means nothing to me. Ooh. Look at that mural. That's beautiful. Controlled zone. What's this what does this van say? 
London drainage. Well, we're definitely in London. I'm going to write down London. We are definitely in London. Oh! Oh, oh god! This is a Minions van. It ha and it has a Minions on it as well. <laughs> Alright, London drainage. Doesn't really tell me where in London. But... All right, we have placed ourselves. Let's keep looking. See if we can find, like, a... Lasser to place. I need to find, like, a clue of, like, what kind of borough I'm in. Smell gas? <laughs> Your gas our network. Okay. KLT. Doesn't help. It doesn't help. The bus stop. Was there a bus stop? Oh, bus stop. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Towards Blackheath. So we have a bus stop that goes towards Blackheath. And we are uh, at Ullundal Road. Ullundal Road. Which is... Um, you do realize the vans can move and don't just work in one place. <laughs> no, I know. It's just, you know, it... Yeah. It just... It helps me get a feel for the area. Um, so this is... we got a bus stop here. All right, there we go. I suppose London is the one place where bus stops are actually going to be super helpful to look at. So, let's go down the road a bit. I want to get a bit closer to. I want to. I think we're going to find more interesting stuff down here. Blackheath is next to Greenwich. Well, that would make sense then. That would make sense they're in Greenwich. Damn, good eye then to... Um, I'm not ignoring the O2. I, I, I can see it. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> Hawthorne Crescent. I guess that's something to look out for because that's quite close to where we started. Hawthorne Crescent. Well, I suppose what I want to do then is probably... So, north of me right now is the O2. So, south of the O2. So, uh, that's on the... Uh, it's on the east... It's East London, isn't it? There's Dartford. Uh, God, I, I really suck with uh, places in London. I've just not been there for so long. I will be taking credit for this one. Under the XL. Yeah, that's what it's it's right by the XL, and I've driven there so many times for conventions. But we always go to Dartford and then we drive across the Dartford bridge. No, we don't. Do we? Wait, no, we don't. Isle of Dogs, God, I fucking love the sound of that place. Oh, here we go. Uh, so this is the this is the Royal Docks. I know this because I've stayed in that hotel many times. XL London. There's the XL. Um, Greenwich Cemetery. Um, I feel like I need a bit more information. I need some like stuff that I can be looking out for here. Also, I haven't actually located... So, there's the O2. So, if I'm south of the O2 right now, how far is the O2 from where I am right now? I'm just going to put my little cursor there for now. I'm not going to guess there, because I can get way more close, I think. Oh, damn. So, we're in the town... We're in the town center of something. God, does anyone else missing miss going out to shops? <laughs> this is why we're doing this. To... <laughs> Took the cable... VidCon 2020, it was so windy. Oh god, the cable cars? I do not love the cable cars. Greenwich Center. So the town centers. I mean, like, look, look at all these shops. Maze Hill. 
Um, the Millennium Leisure Park. Does everyone else wet remember when the O2 was the um, Millennium Dome? I actually went to the Millennium Dome in the year 2000. It was so cool. Mm -mm. Find a McDonald's nearby? Yeah, that would help. Let me go back to my starting position, I think. Oh, actually, well, maybe walk. Maybe if I walk back. I need to find the Greenwich, like, city center. Or, like, the shop center. Yeah, I need something like a KFC or something. I need to be looking out for some kind of food thing. So I know what I'm looking for. Something highly recognizable would be good. You're moving to London on Friday. Congratulations. Is this the big yellow road? It might be. Well, the one we're on now, that is um, the A102. The A102. Got some more bus stops. Hey, bus, can you move, please? Nice, sir. Thank you very kindly for the 12 months. A whole year of subs. Uh, how has it been a year? What well, even is time? I miss London so much. At least we can walk virtually. Thanks for a great time, PJ. Hell yeah, dude. This is this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna virtually uh, walk through and find something. Is that Costa? Oh God. It is a maze. Ultimate cake art? Dude, I want to go to Ultimate Cake Art. Come on, Wild Bean Cafe. Costa. Oh, okay, so we are literally... No, we can't be right... No, because that's right by the O2. There must be another Costa a bit further down. Because we're not right by the O2 right now, are we? Wait. We've lost it. Where is the O2 gone? Yeah, I've definitely driven around here before. There's been times where uh, I've had to divert around to get and get around here. When we're trying to go to conventions, I'd have to divert my way around here. All right, I'm going way too far now. I'm going to go back to the start. So, all right. Well, if we can look for, what was it called? Fo uh, foil Road? Oh my God, there are so many roads. Uh, is this a long road? Let's have a look. I went past the Sainsbury's. Hold on. Which wait? Where was I starting? Return to start. Let me have a look this way and just see what's at the end of this road. It's quite a nice road, actually. Relative to the UK. <laughs> just see if there's anything remotely. Was this a prison? Greenwich Prison. The houses look like they're expensive. It's London. Everything's expensive. <laughs> Westcombe Park. All right. If I can find that, we're right by that. Westcombe Park. Oh no! Okay. Oh my god, I accidentally backed out of the... I backed out of the page. We're all, we're all good, guys. We're all good. That was a bit scary. Alright. Let's find this park. How big is Westcombe Park? That was the question. Greenwich Park. I guess there's going to be a little greenery, huh? It was there? It was there? Wait, where is there? Near the yellow line. Westcombe Park? We saw you saw it? There. <laughs> Hold on, let me go back. I feel like there's a bit of delay in the chat. We 
with red mark. Red mark. Oh, Westcombe Park. Oh, a train station. Oh, interesting. So... Ah, I was looking for an actual park. I didn't realize I was looking for a train station. Okay. Well, this is helpful. So which side of the train tracks are we on? That's the question. Well, we're not far from here. I don't want to stray too far. We're looking for Foil Road. Foil Road. Fingal Street. I love, uh... <laughs> I love these names of streets. Hmm. Maybe I need to adventure a little bit more. Maybe I need the name of the main road. I'm not seeing foil. Oh, oh, oh I'm seeing it! I'm seeing it! Foil Road, baby! All right. Hold on. We're doing it. So, we're here, and at the end of the street is a... <sighs> nothing, really. Nothing exciting. There's no kids... Kids and Co. Day Nursery. And is there a... Westcombe Park. Wait, what's the name of this road that we're that it's adjacent to? Does it have a name? <laughs> uh, you know, I should use the compass more. You're right. Do you want me to move my camera so you can guys can see the compass? There you go. Uh, it's a four-way intersection. Uh, kind of. Oh, I suppose it's opposite Dinsdale Road and Humber Road. Ah, okay. Here we go. Hold on. Dinsdale is opposite Dinsdale, so it's here. Dinsdale Humber, right. So we're somewhere around here. Oh, I wish I could just rotate the map. All right, so my starting position is here. So I am like one, two, two buildings in. I could actually calculate this properly if I wanted to, but I don't think I can... I think I have the constitution to count all of this. Or do I? One, two, three. Is that a little detached place? Lucky, lucky, lucky Mr. Ducky, whoever owns that. This place is all semi-detached, and then you've got this little bozo. Very cute. Yeah, I like the I like I like it. Could do with like another window here and here, but otherwise. Getting a little detached place in London. Very lucky. Alright, so, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, four, five, six. We're in between five and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright. So, it, I think we're literally here. I think we found it, guys. I think we're ready to take our guess. What do we get? Ooh, we're one yard away, baby. <laughs> we're one yard away. Congratulations, guys. Toasty. We got it. Woo! Selling my Bitcoin to buy that house? Dude, do it. Funnily enough, it's the one place in this whole area that's not for sale. <laughs> oh, my God. How about that, guys? One yard away. We'd love to see it. Uh, I'm very pleased with that. Thank you for your help, everybody. That was that was great. We, you know, you guys helped me figure out where about I was, and then we did the detective work. Next round. Oh fucking hell. Oh god. <laughs> Does anyone know where this is? <laughs> uh. All right. Newgate Farm. I'm going to start a new post-it note. God, I'm going to rinse through these post-it notes. I might need a little book instead. New Gate Farm. 
Yeah, going from the O2 to this. Uh, I just as a reminder as well, guys. Um, no googling anything. If you want to help, that's totally fine. Um, but no, don't just Google things. Very cottage core. Yeah, I mean, look at this. What a life out here. I mean, oh, I can see your underwear. I bet they didn't think. I bet the day they hung up their washing here, they didn't think their underwear would be on stream, broadcast to hundreds of people. <laughs> Uh, Noak's book. Thank you very much for the sub. <laughs> panty raid. We're going on a panty raid. All right, I'm finding nothing out here. Nothing. I will not take the L. I will find where we are. God, imagine being the person who drives the Google Maps car. You just have to drive. You have to drive everywhere. I know there's probably several. It's always kind of surreal when you see it as well. <gasps> Wait a minute. We found civilization. Salisbury! We're, well, we're 24 miles from Salisbury. We're in Shaftesbury. Or we're near, well, we're near East Stour. Okay. Let me write these down in order of how close we are. All right. Well, I know where Salisbury is. So, yeah. Dorset. We're, um, we're south. Yeah, we're by the A30, so that'll help. A30. So we're close... To, I'll write them in order of how close we are. East Stour. Shaftesbury. I've been, I've been down here before, actually. So I'll see when I start recognizing it. Sherborne. Uh, Ye Oval. And Salisbury. All right. All right. Let's get looking. It's near Bournemouth. I know that. Um, Puddle Town. Oh, my God. When me and Sophie drive to... Um, Cornwall. We always pass Puddle Town, and I always, I always comment on it because I'm like, dude, I want to write a story, and I want there to be a place called Puddle Town because that just sounds amazing. And Sophie always says that she's actually been to Puddle Town before. <laughs> it just sounds like, well, like a cute little fucking Harry Potter esque place. Harry, you must not go to Puddle Town. The Dark Lord is there. Oh, okay, great. Thanks, thanks for the intel. I won't go to Puddle Town then. <laughs> Sherborne. How far from Sherborne are we? I should also write... Hang on a minute. 12 miles. I could just find the A30, couldn't I? A30, is that... Wait, oh, I've lost it. Hold on. Sherborne. A303. So we're looking for East Stour. Um, ideally. Long load. This place is just called Ham! <laughs> oh. oh, the places you'll go. Uh, Alright. Um, so, hang on a minute. If I'm looking north, then... Uh, Sherborne is 12 miles to my... East, which means I am west of Sherborne. Yeovil! We're getting close. Oh, I know. Is that further? That's getting further away. That's 18 miles. Wait, so have I done that wrong? Because that's getting further away. So I actually, I'm this way, right? Yeah, I'll get. Um, we're going to find out this place in a minute. This is going to be our ace in the hole. It's west of me. Is that real? I mean, that makes that's what I thought, but you got to triangulate. I don't know how to do this. It's my first time. <laughs> Muchel, Muchel me, Drayton. <gasps> is that where Drayton Manor is? 
Cucklington. All right, let's all have a let's all have a laugh at Cucklington. They'll be laughing when the zombie apocalypse hits, and Cucklington are the only ones who prepared. Please, sir, can I come live in Puckling, uh, Cuck Cucklington? No, you laughed at us. So you can die with the rest of the country. Foddington. Um. So do I just need to keep going west, do you think? Because this was 18 miles. Sher no, 18 Sherborne was... Oh, hang on a minute. Sherborne was... Oh, I've made a mistake here. Sherborne's 12. Yeah. Sherborne was 12. Shaftesbury is 4 miles. East Star is 1 mile away. This is the A303 as well. Def not west if you yeah if that's what I'm thinking so surely it's got to be this way no Stallbridge But then that doesn't make sense geographically because of the compass unless the compass is broken What do you think guys Compass broken Sherborne is west so you need to look east Sherborne is wet oh my god sorry I got my wests and easts mixed up all right, so Sherborne, 12 miles. We're looking for Shaftesbury next to get a bit closer. Shaftesbury. East Stour! <gasps> All right, so we're actually East Stour. So we're actually a little bit more... If East Stour is one mile in... that direction, we're a little bit further this way. Shaftesbury? No, we've gone too far. That's four miles. Shaftesbury is four miles the other way. Okay, so if that is... If 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 somewhere in between here there, then... King Arms Inn. That might even be where... This, that might even be this. This might be the King Arms. And if it is, we're in business, folks. It fucking is. All right. Don't worry, old PJ is going to get you guys home. The King's Arms Inn. Right. So we are literally here right now. So. Let's do a bit of backtracking then. We came down this road. It was a long, long, windy road. So let's keep... Let's go back until we, until we hit our first house and then we'll recalibrate. Mighty Valkyrie, uh, are you familiar with a series of unfortunate event events, the books? Yes, uh, I am. I, I like the movie as well. Uh, I wasn't too hot on the TV series. I wish I watched like the first episode. I was like, oh, this is not very good, <laughs> considering how much I love the film. And I know that the, um, yeah, I did start Newgate Farm is where I started actually. I don't know if Newgate Farm is on here. Mole's End Design, Blake's Farm. Who's Blake? New, new lane? Okay. We might even be down here, to be honest. I'm gonna go slowly, slowly but surely wins the race. Does it get better? Okay. I just, I honestly, I didn't really like, is it Neil Patrick Harris as Count Olaf? I didn't really, I wasn't really into that. I don't know, I kind of felt like Jim Carrey's Count Olaf was like perfect. I just don't, I didn't like, I don't know, I just, I think I couldn't get that out of my head. Okay, so we've got some houses here. So we're here right now, I believe. Wait, this isn't where we started, though. We started a little further back. Keep going, let's follow this car. Follow that car! So if we keep going south there, we get to... Here. So this is literally, it's not marked on the map, but this is Newgate Farm, which is here. So if we keep going down, we're going to get to Duncliffe Wood Car Park. Are you kidding me? Did I pass a car park? 
I don't normally like Jim Carrey, but he wasn't amazing as Olaf. Yeah, he really was. I also do like Jim Carrey. I see no car park. All right, I'm going to go back to my original starting point. I see a field and a field. What is, what's up this way? Did I check? A house. So that's that house, I believe. That, I think, is that house. So... I don't think I'm going to be able to get this one too close. But, uh... I think our starting position... Is... We're a little closer to that house than we are to that house. So I would say that we are... Here. What do you guys think? I feel like we're not slap bang in the middle. I think we're a little close to this one. Our house in the middle of the street. I I I sent a tweet. I was I was drafting out a tweet the other day, but I didn't think it made sense. I was I was writing a, t a tweet about how construction wise, it doesn't make any sense to build a house in the middle of the street. It's actually like quite, um, you know. But I, anyway, I didn't. I, I saved it to drafts. It wasn't. It, it was not a good tweet. <laughs> I don't think it made any sense. All right, I'm gonna guess here. Oh, two yards? Are you kidding me, guys? We're nailing it. I guess I was. I was a little bit. I should. I right. I wasn't on the road. Whoopsie doopsie. Dang. Play next round. We're killing it. Ooh, look at this. Nice yellow field. Where are we, though? That is the question. New post-it note time. No, I'm not I'm, re I'm not amazing at this. We're all working together, guys. We're all working together. Oh, my God! Yeah, we are definitely just in the middle of nowhere, though. Oh, God. Aw, look at that little pooch. Location number 181300. Muckton! Alright, Muckton, that's gotta be something. Muckton. I can smell the fresh country out, yeah. I love it. Aw, that little dog. Alright. Let's get looking then. Where is Muckton? Yeah, it's my grandpa! <laughs> Thanks for not blurring the dog, Google. Is it somebody's job to go around and blur people out of all these photos? Ooh, holy shit. These are some nice places. So remote as well. Okay, let's have a look. What do we got here? Burwell. So Burwell is the road that we started on. Yeah, the hedges are very nicely trimmed. Maybe not these ones so much. So if that's Burwell, then this is Muckton South. So it's Burwell Road, which is our starting road, by Muckton South. And... Muckton North, by any chance? No, Abbey Alford. So, Muckton South is, ironically, is North. On the compass. And Abbey... Can I just clarify? Red is... Red is North on the compass, right? Or is it South? Is red pointing me south or north? Red is north. Just checking. Oh, Louth. <laughs> I thought me people were mis mispronounce misspelling uh, south in the chat. Everyone's just saying Louth. I was like, why is everyone saying Louth? <laughs> Do you mean south? Okay, so Abby, Abby Alford is 
south then. All right. Let's keep going. I don't have enough information to go off. We need to know like what county we're in, or like, ideally, yeah, where, like, all right, well, Muckton. Yeah, that doesn't help me. I need to know generally where in the country. Somewhere in Lincolnshire? Okay. You guys better not be Googling this. You better just be from Muckton. Alfred is in uh, Lincolnshire. Oh, okay. I want to see a utility bill from uh, whoever is coming up with these hints. Oh, I know exactly where you are. You better live there, then. <laughs> I would like to see a utility bell, bill or a council tax bill, please. Proof of address. Um, right, I'm going back to the start. This is uh, not helping me massively. I'm going to go in the other direction. I mean, I can just go until I find like a more specific area of Lincolnshire, because Lincolnshire is quite large. Yeah, these fields are empty. Someone's been chopping. Fucking Captain America over here, pulling logs apart. Uh, I want a gif of me doing something as cool as uh, when Chris Evans is pulling those logs apart in uh, Age of Ultron or whatever film he does that in. A Infinity War, whichever film that is. Yeah, someone's been chopping logs in Muckton. Uh, Alright, this is a long road. At least we know what road... At least we know the name of the road. Which helps a lot. Oh, hello. More information. Oh, I like information, I do. Muckton, right. So, more information is... Because this is just stuff to look out for on the map. Muckton Corthorpe. Spelt car park, but okay. I guess they spell things a little bit different in... Uh, so that's that way. So that's Muckton Corthorpe by... S... Thorsby... Orthorpe. And then that way is... What's that? Boz? Bo 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 bobby baby what? Can't read the other side of that sign. Bowell Spilsby? This, these places do not sound like they're real. Is that Boswell or something? Or bo something Bow something well? Boswell Spilsby? That sounds like an excellent character's name. Borwell? Do you think it's Bor? Does that make sense? I'm Boswell Spilsby. At your service. Please, darling, just call me Boswell. All right, I still don't have enough information to go off here, but I'm going to keep going up. I'm going to go up Borwell or Boswell, whatever it is. Do I know how British roads work? Uh, I do, yes. I have driven <laughs> many of the great British roads. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, as soon as we find, like, a, an A road or something or a B road, we can work from that. Then we can go off of there. You think we're in Bozo Town? <laughs> There's got to be a place in the world called Bozo Town. Can somebody please Google? Uh, I give you permission to Google this. <laughs> As if you need my permission to Google anything. Uh, you you have you have my permission. Can someone please let me know if the, if Bozo Town uh, is a place that exists in the world? If not, we can make Bozo Town. Oh my God! They've got a little. How cute is this? They've got a little um, post box right outside their house. I mean, if you lived out in the middle of nowhere, you're not going to want to go out to a post office all the time, are you? Free range eggs for sale. Eggs for sale today. I think we missed the boat on that one. Cute places. I'm probably not going to write eggs down. I don't think we need eggs. Oh, hello. Right, here we go. 
Boston. Grimsby. Muckton, this way. Right. The A16. We're going to be looking out for the A16. And we're going to be trying to find... Uh, yeah, Muckton on, along there. So... I'm going to write down... So if I'm looking north... So Grimsby is north. Grimsby! Is north of us. And south is Boston. Alright. Let's get looking. I think we've got a bit of information to work off of. A16 we're looking for. That's the M roads. A1. A66. A19. And whereabouts am I? Scunthorpe. Uh, A15. Looking for the A16. got the A15 and the A17. A16, here we go. So, we're looking for... Gr uh, Grimsby? Or Boston? And I can follow it along from there. Oh, well, there's Grainsby. Grimsby, okay, we found Grimsby. Um... UK Boston has a flower windmill. That's cool. So Boston's at the bottom. So we've got Grimsby and Boston's down here. So somewhere along here, we're here then. Somewhere in here. So we are looking for North Thorsby. Did I write that down? I wrote down South Thorsby. So hold on. I'm looking for... So Muckton. Let's get back to basics here. We're looking for Muckton. <laughs> Fucking, lo I love the name. Where's Muckton? Or is Muckton more of the general area? Oh, Skegness, old Skeggy. I've been to Skegness plenty of time as a young lad. Uh, is anyone seeing Muckton anywhere? Edge of the Green. Riggs, Rigsby. Muckton, baby! Alright. So. We found Muckton. How much does this help us? Oh, Jesus. This one's really hard. Um, Because the A16... We're on the A16 right now. I believe. And we came from that direction. So. Oh, wait. Are we exactly here? With this little triangle area? No. Unless. St. Michael's Church. Does anyone see a church anywhere? <laughs> I don't think this is it. Um, what's nearby? We've got a uh, farm, farm stuff. If I can find like a, a petrol station or something, that would help. Reduce speed now. Probably means a roundabout's coming up or something. Oh no, just a little. Oh, stag's head, free house. Uh. Don't, that's not, don't worry about that. I, I, I need to make a phone call quickly about a free house. You guys don't need to know anything about this. Guys, don't. I need to make a call real quick. Don't worry about that. Stag's head. I've just heard that there's a free house going. I do not have enough houses. I need more. All right. 
Stags. We're looking for a stags. Stags head. Hmm. I think I'm going too far if I go down this way. A16 road supplies. Do I need to zoom in a bit more, do you think, to see the... It should be. We should see it. Um. Your dog lives there? Well, I can't possibly kick out a little dog. <sighs> Wasn't quick enough. So we're looking for Muddy Paws Country Store. Muddy Paws Country Store. Oh my god. So we're in the general area, but I'm struggling to find the... We're, we're by a stag's head... Well, it looks like a pub or an inn or something. All welcome. Pub food. So it's a pub. When you and Sophie were picking a house, did you go on Google Street View and look around the area? We absolutely did. <laughs> Ooh, this thing's for sale. Holy shit, guys. Can we, like, all put our money together and buy this? Look at this adorable little whatever this is. What is that? <laughs> Bell. It's a gazebo, yeah. It's kind of a little gazebo. Alright, we're getting distracted. St. Michael's that way. Hold on, I saw that. St. Michael's Church. So that means if St. Michael's is to the east, we must be... to the west. No? The green man... How far in are we? How far does this go? Got a lot of churches around here. Hmm. May I introduce the gazebo? <laughs> hmm. Muckton. Still got Muckton on the brain. Hmm. Burwell. We're still also looking for Burwell. Oh, wait a minute. Burwell Road. That's where we started. I'm going to zoom back to the start. Hold on. Burwell Road. This could be it. I think we're... But we, we're not really near... So if I keep going to the end of this, do I get to an, to an a, a, equestrian farm? Let's have a look. Always oh, got marked on the brain. That's me. Uh, so there's a house and like a. Well, oh, there's a house. Is there a house near here? Mm. Some houses here. Burwell meets Dark Lane. Let me go back to the... Wait, was maybe Dark Lane is this way? I just need, like, to get my bearings of... Well, there's definitely some kind of property there. You know it's a, a very well-hidden property if there's gates right there. Yeah, somebody lives out there in the trees. So we've got a place here as well. How did I find out that that was Burwell? Was there a sign or something? That just says Muckton. Hmm. If I can figure out what ro if I can figure out where that is, I think we're nearly there. You think the wizard? Oh yeah, Rasmodius. You think Matt Rasmodius lives out there? Okay, hold on. So Burwell. W Burwell meets Muckton Louth. Does this road not have a name? Unless it's not a road. Maybe it's not a road at all. Unless there's another... Wait, maybe there's another Burwell. 
Another Burwell. I think that's signposts, not road names. Yeah, I think so. So it's telling me Burwell is that way, maybe. Yes, British place names are definitely made up. The Dizzy B. Thank you for the three months. I hope everyone is having a lovely day. Thank you. I hope you're having a lovely day. So, if that is not a road name, then that is just purely telling me that Burwell is that way. So, it could be all the way over here for all I know, and it's just like, no, that way, dude. Just It's just that way. Wait a minute, that would actually make sense if we were here. No, is this an A? Is this... Is this the A16? I don't think it is. Mm, no. This is a tricky one, guys. This is a tricky one. I don't want to give up, though. I don't want to give up. No. Um... I guess let's go a little bit down and see if we can find a if we can find a road name. That would help a lot. What is this? A factory? Some kind of cabbage factory or something? Cabbage Patch Kid factory where they make cabbage patch kids? It's disgusting. Just let the kids live a normal life. Stop turning them into cabbage patches. Um South view means nothing to me. Did that post box say, hang on a minute. Oh, and that's a phone box. Oof, don't go in there. <laughs> little little hint, little hint to all the people may be visiting the UK soon. Whoa, Jesus. I didn't know Richie Rich lived in the UK. Jeez, look at this, look at this place. Fancy schmancy. No neighbors? I love it. Mm. I don't know, man. These places need to mark their roads better. We need names of roads, okay? I need to know, what if I was wandering down here alone by myself? I mean, yes, I could knock on someone's house and ask where I am, but... New Farm. Alright, I'll write it down. New Farm. This could be helpful. We could be anywhere. We could be anywhere here. Badger World! You guys want to go to Badger World? Because I'm not really seeing... Hold on a minute. Wait, we did see road signs, actually. We did... Oh, there's Louth. Doesn't really help me. We... Road signs that we did see, I think, were... Hold on. Let me go back this way a second. I think we, we did see something that was an actual road sign. I just need to remind myself which one it was. No, wait. This is the way I went. Hold on. This way. I think. Forgive me for getting lost out here, guys. We are literally in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so you're driving along here. How would you know if that's not Burwell? Burwell, Muckton Louth. There's Louth. <sighs> maybe we just, we just, yeah, maybe we just drop at Badgerwell and call it a day. Because <laughs> I have no idea. God, hold on. Let me go the other way. Sorry. Let me. Let me. Let me. I do. I. I do want to go this way. 
Because I want to break our streak, you know. We've got, we, we got a good streak going on. Oh, I was going to put my pen behind my ear. But I realize I'm wearing... Wearing headphones. I feel like there were road signs over here. Down this long, windy road. Yeah, here we go. Is this a... See, I can't tell if... I don't know if that is a road sign or not. Oh, great. It's been all... Oh, wait, right. Burwell, Spilsby. I think that's just a sign, though. I don't think that's a... I don't think that's a, a road sign. And also, you're pointing that way, son. Are you telling me that that out there is Mockton? Unless... Mockton. Hold on. Unless... Mockton... Corthorpe. Where's Corthorpe? Mockton and Corthorpe. Are that way. Burwell and Spilsby are... Vavinon, thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate it, dude. Um, Orthorpe is... Sorry, I can't, I can't actually see where these other places are. Spil Does anyone see Spilsby? Or, uh, no, that's Act. It's Act Thorpe. <sighs> I, I think we've got to take the L on this one, guys. I have no idea. This one's doing my. This one is sending my head in a spiral. Orthorpe east of Mockton. East. How east? Wait, east, sorry. I get my eats and west. All right, Orthorpe is that way. Okay. So, wait, Corthorpe. Where's Corthorpe? Oh, Corthorpe. Orthorpe. Corthorpe. Muckton. This real. This doesn't even... This really doesn't help me, though, because it... Burwell. All right, I'm, so Burwell is that way. Spilsby is also this way. Orthorpe is that way. So, the... I'm trying to figure out where this signpost might be. Spillsby is more south. <sighs> no. I think this one, guys, I think we're going to... I'm going to call it here. And I, as in this... I'm going to guess here. I We need to move on because this one is making my head spiral. Um, Yeah, this one is uh this one is super tricky. All right, fuck it. Where are we? Are you kidding me? No! That was oh! That's where I I thought it was. I should have just guessed there. Oh my god. Cuz we look I didn't dark lane. There is no dark lane. Oh my god. Wow. That's alright. It's okay. That's okay. I mean, the fact that we saw that and like sort of, you know. Dang, dude. Oh my god. Yeah. I didn't think to even put it near my my closest guess, to be honest. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Next round. I think this is the last. This is round five. Uh, ex fucking excuse me. Ex what? <laughs> Where? Where am I? Hold up.
This is either gonna be really hard or really easy. Glimpses of the sacred. Since when- what? 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 Get me out of here! I- I'm in- <laughs> Where's Blathers? I'm in a museum. What the hell? The a Viking grave, dead and sometimes buried. This is bizarre, man. I just want to leave. Wait, am I in? This looks kind of familiar. I feel almost like I've been here. I do need to exit the museum, though. <laughs> Can I take the fire exit, please? So what, did the Google uh, Google Maps car just have to drive through this and destroy, like, ancient history? <laughs> just crashing into the discovery zone. Sorry, gotta get these photos! No, I... Saint Ninian's Isle Treasure. That means nothing to me. Get me out of here! Beginnings. Early people. <laughs> Early people were robots! <laughs> I want to go to a museum where everything is just, like, not factual. It's just, like, everything is just made up. <laughs> We're nearly- I can smell the outside. Take the lift. <laughs> I can smell the outside well. Just get me out. This should not- Oh, it says no entry. I can't possibly- Wait a minute. Did I take down that barrier? It says no entry. Then as I approach, I like rip it down. Yeah, I don't have enough to go off of to know where we are. Oh, wait. It said Scotland. Oh! <gasps> We're in Scotland! <laughs> Alright, I'm writing down Scotland, everybody. We're in Scotland. Kingdom of the Scots. The material in this exhibition was provided by all these people. I just need to find a way out, honestly. I need an exit. Because there's nothing here. If I want to try and figure out this myself, there's nothing in here I don't think that's going to crumpling Scotland. No, I need to find more. Scotland's history starts here. And this could be talking about anywhere in Scotland, couldn't it? If you die in the museum, you die in real life. Oh, God! Get me out of here. I'm just... I'm going around in circles. All right, return to start. Did we go this way yet? Does anyone know the... Can anyone see an exit sign? <laughs> That's the kind of signage we're looking for right now. Don't worry about looking for place names or anything like that. We are purely looking for a way out. Like, I don't even, I don't think I have a name of the museum. Dunfermline? Dunfermline? I don't think that's like the name. Unless there's a place in Scotland, Scotland called Dunfermline. The Museum of Infinite Rooms. Oh, Jesus. I just want to leave. I don't think that's possible. All right. You don't think I can leave? 
I mean, how many museums can there be in Scotland? What if this museum's not even in Scotland and it's just like, oh no, it's just a museum about Scotland. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> yeah, it's actually in Kent. Scotland is rich with history. There's going to be tons of museums. I c no, I, I don't have enough to go off of. Museum of Scotland, Ireland. <laughs> um, Michelle uh, where, asks, where did you get that sweater from? It looks super cozy. Thank you, it is super cozy. It's Lazy Oaf. So it's from Lazy Oaf. And when I'm wearing it, it makes me feel like a Lazy Oaf. God, I just need to... How am... What? <laughs> Let, I can... The, the exit's right right here. Oh, Dunfermline? Dunfermline? Is that a place? Let's have a look. Dunfermline is a place in Scotland. But where? Dundee... Because again, it might just be talking about Dunfermline. Dunfermline. Dunfermline? Above Edinburgh. Oh, here we go. Alright, okay, well hold on. If we can find a museum... B and Q. National Tires and Auto Care. A bank. It's got to be somewhere here, right? It's got to be in the city centre. <sighs> it's Edinburgh. You think the museum's in Edinburgh? How do you know that, though? Did you... Edinburgh's got a museum? You better not be Googling this, guys. I can't be winning based off of, uh... Cheating. Okay. Alright. Okay. There's a gallery. Portrait gallery. There's a dungeon. <sighs> if I could leave the museum, maybe that would help. But I don't think the game will let me. Watermelon Studio. I don't think this is a... This is not exactly a portrait gallery, is it? Because there's like... They've got all sorts of stuffs here. they got like rocks. Not just por portraits. I'm lost. I'm lost in Scotland, guys. <laughs> yeah, if I could sign like if I could find some signage in here that tells me like what kind of some one of these should tell you what the name of the museum is. Should it not? They should, like, plaster that everywhere in case you forget what museum you're in. Or in case you're playing GeoGuessr and you spawn in the middle of this place. Toilets are this way. Perfect. Lifts? Hold on a minute. 
Oh, wait. Nope. Where am I? I've passed through the lift. Hold on. No, I want- don't- stop taking me to the- the rock place. I want to try and look over there. I think, um... I think the answers are here. I think the answers are here. I just can't get close enough to it, unfortunately. I think this would literally tell us... Um, this would tell us what museum we're in. There's a roof terrace, if that helps. Way out. Oh, God. Don't taunt me like that. There's a way out, but you can't exit. You can never exit. Sorry. Geo ge geological time. I, uh, yeah, I don't know, guys. Yeah, if I had to take a guess, then somewhere in God, I when as soon as I saw we spawned in a museum, I thought, oh, this is going to be easy. This is going to tell us exactly where we are. Should we at least enjoy the museum for a minute? Oh my god, I thought that was a real fish. I thought that was an actual fish. I was like, they got the picture as it was about to eat this smaller fish. Uh, I now realize this is a this is a fake exhibit. It's not real fish. Sea life. 345 million years ago, the seas were warm. How do we know? They haven't even got an answer. How do we know? Well, we don't. <laughs> we're just... We're assuming they were warm. <laughs> oh, I see. It's a museum built on assumptions. Tell me where I am. Wait, we haven't been this way before. God, look at this. You can get a free trip to a museum this way. Don't even have to pay to get in. They should have thought about this before putting it on Google Maps. Look at all this information we're learning. Um, how smart we are. The Jurassic Seas were full of animals. How do we know? Are you asking me? No, I need you to tell me. I'm here because I need you to tell me the answers. Scottish glaciers sooner than you think. None of this is really telling me, like, what city we're in. Scotland was covered in ice. How do we know? Well, we don't. Taking a guess. Oh, is this? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Please take a map. I would fucking love a map. Where are we? National something museum. What does that say? I mean, I'm assuming National Scottish Museum? Museum of... No, there's no of there. You'd see a small of would be much shorter. Edinburgh National Museum? National wouldn't be longer... Edinburgh would be longer than... National Edinburgh Museum, maybe? National Museum of Scotland? Oh, is that the of just there? National Museum of Scotland. And where is that? In in Edinburgh? And where is that? <laughs> National Museum of Edinburgh or National something? National Museum of Scotland? South of Royal Mile. 
And where is Royal Mile? The city center. I feel like, is this the city center? I feel like, you have to forgive me, I've never been to Edinburgh before. I'd love to go. Just below me. It's a university here. National Museum of Scotland! Is this it? And there's the roof terrace! Oh, and there's the roof terrace. All right, so we were just like in the middle of it then. I guess. I think we did it. All right, I'm going to take a guess. Oh, I was 31 yards away, was I? Very nice. Yes, I loved this location. What were the main reasons you liked it? <laughs> Easy to pinpoint. I would argue very scenic views. Congratulations. I think you've made the right choice, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, other. It was a museum. We learned for free. View summary. Well done. You received a new medal for the United Kingdom. We got 24,906 points. Guys, that was amazing. That was amazing. Look at that. We nearly got full points. Um, All the Bar asks, where did you get the jacket fleece you were wearing yesterday? Uh, that one was just from ASOS. I'm the King of England now. Nice. We did it, guys. Look at that. Right, what's the time? Uh, we've only been in for two hours. All right, let's do something else. Game breakdown. We were literally, oh my god, how about that? We were one point off of full points in that one, and we were 93 points off in that one. Uh, yeah, let's do another, let's do a different one now. Um, that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. Um, countries? How do I do that one? Is that, um... Hold on. World? No. Yes. World? Do I click on world? Or am I, is that country? It says country somewhere? How many countries can you get right? Alright. None. <laughs> None, probably. Um, okay. So here we are. Great, my notes, my notes <laughs> for the previous one we did was Scotland, Dunfermline. Uh, oh, this car, we can't catch up to this car. Stop driving so fast. Oh, hang on a minute. We've seen our first sign and it says, Petsizin. Somewhere near Russia? Maybe. Poland? Is it Poland? Is it literally Poland? Petsizin? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. I can't write. I'm going to mispronounce a lot of words here. Wotow? Wotow? Could be Poland. Here's the thing, I'm gonna have no I I have no idea to work out <laughs> the country, but uh I mean you guys seem to know. You guys seem to like Poland. God, this we're following this red car. Oh, he's gone. He's vanished. Maybe we were the red car. No, he's there! I will catch this red car. What what's ours? Mm, okay. You can always look for signs with websites on them. That's a good... Yeah, good point. Uh, Dolny Slask. Oh, is that the... Is that the... Polish flag? Oh, no, it's the EU flag. Yeah, I'm not very good with flags. Yeah, we're in the EU. We know that. Well, we're not in the EU. We're, 
in G in geo guesser we, we we're in the eu um no yeah no that's just um in geo guesser <sighs> okay well yeah i i i i mean we're following this red car <laughs> He's getting further away. He's getting further away. I'm coming. You can't escape us. It's like fucking Terminator chasing him down. <laughs> oh, hang on. There was a sign there. Where's that sign? I mean, if you guys feel, I mean, we're feeling confident it's Poland, that maybe, maybe we go, maybe we go Poland. Now you're going to see how bad my geography really is. Oh, wait a minute. Warsaw? Didn't we see that? On a sign? Should we go Poland? Guess that G.I. Alright. Oh, <gasps> yes. Congratulations. First country down. Next round. What do you got? Well, this is clearly a very arid road. A very dry. Does anyone know where this is? <laughs> Let's find a sign, maybe. Where's that car gone? I don't think we're going to be able to catch that car. We're on a very long road here. Hopefully we'll find an end to it. Maybe it's just like this long road just passes through the entire country and there's no way to, there's like no signs, no nothing. The roof rack means Ghana. Ha what? How? What do you mean the roof, the roof rack? Other countries have roof racks, do they not? <laughs> feel dry in the mouth already. Oh, same, dude. I need to have a drink. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll keep looking. I, I, I think I would like... I'd feel more comfortable if I kept looking first. Oh, by looking at the Google car. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, well, let's keep looking at least. I want to be sure. I want to see a sign. Well, I at least want to see a sign. I feel like just going off of the uh, the Google car is, uh, I don't know, it seems like a bit of a stretch. Oh, here's a sign. Our first sign. We've been driving for miles and we've seen our first sign. Very informative. Incredibly informative. Phasmophobia, give us a sign. Now that seems like that could be pretty helpful. That's a very specific looking type of truck. Again, it's not one that I'm familiar with. But it could be helpful. Um, Alright. Let's keep looking. I'm assuming that's just a, that. Probably that was just a sign saying the speed. This road goes on forever. It's an infinite road. What if this is like a loop? What if it's like a perfect loop? And it's just like a circle with no... Um, <laughs> there's like no uh, roads that connect to it. And when, you, when you're on the road, you can't get off of it. And you don't know how you got onto it. It's just like an... In, maybe it's like an infinity symbol. <laughs> and you're just like driving around and around and around forever. 
I don't even remember how I got on this road. I was born on this road. <laughs> I was born driving. <laughs> the forever road. <laughs> oh, hello. Kadugu. I'll write it down. This is the first sign that we can actually read that we have seen. Africa? I mean, I can literally look on here and see if I can see it. Hold on. Um, so... If we were looking at Ghana, that would be... My geography is so bad. My geography is so, so bad. I'm going to level with you guys. I don't know where Ghana is. Oh, here it is. So we saw Kadugu. Does anyone see Kad Kadugu? Again, I'm probably mispronouncing that, so I do apologize. Um, okay, Gia. You're saying it's definitely Ghana. You're saying roof rack and red soil means it's Ghana. If it is not, you're getting a timeout. So you're putting it all on the line here. So can we get a, let's get a, hold on a minute. We, if we're doing, we're doing a bit. Is it Ghana? Geo in the chat claims it is. They are so certain they're betting their life on it. Let's find out. Is it going to be? Which way is it going to go? I can't tell. I don't know. But we're about to find out in just a few seconds. I'm going to let this simmer. I'm going to let it marinate. Mods, get ready. Get ready to time out. If this is not Ghana. Here we go. Game over, pal. Game over, pal. All right. Oh my God. Time out, 10 minutes. I'm a man of my word. Thank you. I'm, we're serious. I'm I'm very serious. They were so certain it was Ghana. Someone else may have said it, but that that person was so so certain. They were posting in the chat in all caps saying that it must be Ghana. I didn't betray Gio. Gio betrayed me. Um, Daffodil Cath, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate that. Very much. Caps was the mistake. Capital letters was the mistake. Our streak is one, one country. All right. Here we go. Starting again. Lind... Lindkund. Lind... Lind... Lindnud. This looks like... Somewhere, definitely Europe? Lind, Lindnud, and Damgarvej. This has got to be like Sweden or Norway or something with the um, ending in a J and with this little sort of umlaut thing. Somewhere in Scandinavia. Let's keep going. Let's find more. So we got Brewrup, SB Pork, Holstead. Holstead sounds like a place in the UK. Perslundvej. I'm Danish. This is Denmark. 
All right, hold on a second. Give me just a second, guys. I just want to um, prepare something. Hold on a minute. I think it would be more helpful for me if I took this and I put it here. All right. You are saying you are you are <laughs> Ghana. You are saying you are from Denmark, and this is Denmark. Okay. Well, let's find Denmark. Let's see if it's gonna be Denmark. Absolute certainty in the chat, everybody. Absolute certainty. Sophie Spruce has bet their life on it. On a 10 minute timeout. Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be Denmark? Mods, prepare yourself. Sophie Spruce says, I am so sure. Let's find out. Mm, first one down. <laughs> Sophie Spruce, thank you. Now that's how you do it with certainty. That's, that's how you do it with certainty. First one down. Very nicely done. Um, what do we think, guys? Ghana? Red soil, um, not seeing a roof rack, so can't be certain, but I'm seeing a lot of red. I'm kidding. Uh, I love these trees, though. I, I, this road's very cool. Look how red the road is. This is very curious. This is very curious. Oh, hang on. Let's see what this sign says. Uh, attention, animals. Napista. <laughs> I'm gonna write that down. That is clearly saying something in another language. A ten cow. Uh, a uh, Animal. Does this mean attention? Animals crossing or something? It's Portuguese. Brazil. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Wanna go back has said, I promise. I promise it's Brazil. I'm Brazilian. Okay, wanna go back underscore. You're certain. You're certain that you are from Brazil. Let's find out. Is it Brazil? Let's guess. Holy, holy, yes. 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 Good job. <laughs> That's two in a row. Guys, we're killing it. I say we, I'm not really doing anything. I'm more like the, whoa. Look at this fucking, is it, where is this, Hyrule? New Zealand? This is beautiful. Take me there. Now, please. If you if you look really closely, you might see a few hobbits walking up this mountain over here. This is uh this is beautiful. Could be Ghana. My first instinct was Ghana. PJ, I'm a highly, and I'm certain this is Hyrule. <laughs> All right. If you... <laughs> Iceland, Scotland? It, I don't think Iceland, based on... Well, I mean, I've only been to Iceland in the winter, actually, so I can't say for sure. I'm tempted to say I don't think Iceland. Can we get anything from this car? Jenny asks, any graphic novel tips? Tips for writing? EU plates? How do we know it's an EU plate? Oh, what, because of the colors? Um, bird shit. As in this, oh yeah, there's bird shit on the car. Great. What does that tell us? Uh, I don't think I have any tips for writing a graphic novel as I've never written one. Um, if that is what you indeed meant. 
Blue Stripe? Oh, what, the blue... So, EU, okay, so we're in Europe somewhere, okay. Bumble Becky, thank you for the 13 months. Oh, to eat one's weight in hummus and pitta uh, whilst traveling the world virtually. Tis the dream, dude, that sounds amazing. Can I get in on that? I love whatever the place this is. This is absolutely beautiful. Got a lake here as well. I'm so glad that we don't have to figure out the pinpoint where we are. And the purple flowers as well. I know, this is just a dream. I want to go, like, kayaking across this lake. All right, we look like we're coming up to something in a minute. We're getting somewhere. One car is not enough. People travel by cars too. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this little house. This little cottage in the middle of nowhere. Unfortunately, I don't think we can get anything from it. Oh! All right, we are traveling to the past at 88 gigawatts. All right, what do you think, guys? What's this fashion? What country is this fashion from? Yeah, I was traveling at super speed. 1.21? 1.21 gigawatts. What's 88? Oh, 88 miles per hour using 1.21 gigawatts. Yeah, that's it. Um, Greenland? You think Greenland? It is very green. I remember when Funfalui was doing his Flying Around the World series and he went to Greenland and my god, it looked so beautiful. It was just a small little place, but I want to go there. Also, he flew around, well, I don't know if he went everywhere in the world, but he flew around in a, his own plane. How bonkers is that? I want to sail around the world in a little boat, Ponyo style. I can say this is not Finland. Well, if it if it turns out to be Finland, you're in trouble. God, I'm getting nothing out here, man. Give me a bone. Throw me a bone. Just a little bone. Little pile of bones. Come on. I don't ask for much. Oh. Kerry Way. Kerry Way? That's in it. That's English. Kerry Way. Island? Well, how are you? Now, there's a lot of certainty right now for Ireland. Oh my god, look at this place. Do you ever see stuff like this? And it just makes you think like. It just take, it takes your mind back to thinking, like, at one point in time, people, I don't know how many, several, probably, built this house and then lived in it for I don't know how long. People were living in there. They were spending their days there, having dinner, having breakfast, talking with one another, laughing, having a great time. And now look at it. Now it's just this. It's kind of crazy to think. I mean, is that like, is is this like what my house might one day look like? I'm having a fun time jonking around, streaming in my house. Is it one day going to become all dilapidated and broken? Roof broken? It's fascinating. Imagine going on a walk, just having a little peek inside. So, a lot of people say Ireland then. We've seen a sign. Oh, this is the end of the path. All right, let me try this way real quick. I just want to get a feel for just any other signs. Was that a sign? No. I'm getting nothing. It looks like Kerry Island. Well, there was a sign that said Kerry. Ricky, did you see the sign? Were you here when the sign was on screen? Kerry Way? Kerry Way! Alright, you're gonna need to give me something else. I need something else to work with. 
Should we go for Ireland? Can't even find the fucking UK. All right, here we go. Ireland or Northern Ireland? Regular Ireland? <laughs> Ireland? All right, let's give it a shot. Congratulations. I think you've made the right choice there. Hot streak. Good job, guys. Nice job, team. Oh, hello, Snow. Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll never get bored of the oh, my God, warrior. Um, so, where is this? Still not Finland? <laughs> all right. You just let me know when Finland comes up, all right? Hmm. <laughs> I know that's not the actual size of the car. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> uh, you think it's Ghana? There is a roof rack. Has it been 10 minutes? Has the person we timed out, are they back? I hope they don't hate me. I just had to... I, I can't... If I say I'm going to threaten a timeout, I can't, you know... Hello. I, I'm sorry about that. I can't, you know, go easy at the last second. I need to I, I need to stick to my word. You were just... You just happened to be in the firing line. All right, what do we got? This looks very Russian to me. Oh my god. Why is Russia so huge? What do you guys think? Not Russia? Okay. But near Russia. Red Mirrors is Mongolia. Interesting. Is that a thing in Mongolia? You have red wing mirrors? Hey, buddy. I see you. The Mongolia flag was a bit back. Oh, what? On the, um... Was that the... The green... Autolux. Was the flag the thing that was painted? On the... I don't know. There was something green. There was like a green fence. Wait, this? Ah, okay. Damn. It's huge. Alright, we're gonna take a take a we'll take a gamble. Correct! Oh, very nice. Nicely done, team. Holy hell, where are we now? God, it keeps just dropping us in the can can we go into a city center, please? Can you just drop us in a city center? This is a very, yeah, very cool place. 1969. Nice. Another long road. Oh, a sign that reads Sutherland. Sutherland. America? This feels like an American road. This definitely isn't UK. Sutherland sounds like a place in the UK, but it's not. Wait, hang on a minute. How sure are you that we're in the US? <laughs> uh, Machias Fontaine. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Let's keep looking. We need more signage. 
flags is a really good way to go. If you can find something with a flag, that's super helpful. Well, not helpful for me, because I'm not very good with flags. There really is nothing out here. Come on, give me something. Give me something to work with. What's this sign say? One kilometer. There will be a tree. Great. <laughs> and on your left, you will see the one tree we have here. It's not much, but it's ours. Oh, these solar panels. Nice. Can't read those. A 10,000% South Africa. How can you say that? 10,000%? That means... You know the max is 100%, right? <laughs> if you're 10,000% sure, that means you're 9,900% room for error. <laughs> That's a lot of percentage room for error. Onda Karoo. Um, Bacon uh, Rashes uh, asks, Are you secretly a sweet potato wearing a human PJ suit? You got me. You got me. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Don't tell anyone, though. That's a little secret of mine. A little personal secret of mine. Well, we're getting close to this place. Oh my god! Series? Series? Um... Do we go towards Ceres, or do we go towards Mount Mount Fortnite? Where do we go? Hmm. I guess a big clue as well is what side of the road we're driving on. Currently driving on the right. So that'll tell you what countries we're not in, at least. You guys think South Africa? I mean, we could be driving for miles. This is really pretty. Look at when you go through this bit. Look how cool that is. Oh my god. I think the only place I've ever been to in uh, South Africa before is uh, Johannesburg. So I don't know how far, if this is South Africa. I don't know how far uh, from there we are. Yeah, I'm getting nothing out of here. I would be truly going off of the wisdom of the chat. You promise this is South Africa? Uh, okay. Wait. <laughs> where where exactly? Just down here? Specifically here and not like either of these places? Here we go. Ooh, very nicely done. All right, guys. Sorry I doubted you. Sorry I doubted you. I just figured we didn't have much to go off of. This is very green. All right, let's go in this direction. So we're driving on the right again. So... Should tell us what country we're not in. Okay, that's got to be a clue. Who's this rabbit? Is this a mascot? Ukraine? Germany? Alright, that's two very different places. Oh, we've swapped sides of the road. <laughs> I'm sure that's legal. Slovenia, Russia... Alright, well we need a bit... I think we need a little bit more information to go off of. What 
do you think, guys? Dun, 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 dun. Ukraine? Chat really likes Ukraine here. Alright, where's Ukraine? Dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum dum ba dum bum bum ba da bum bum bum. All right, here we go. Correct. Very nicely done, folks. And we are once again dropped in the middle of nowhere. All right. Is car a clue? No. The only clue is that they're driving on the right side of the road. Hmm. Oh, was that a sign? Nah, it just probably tells me something about the road being zigzaggy or bumpy or something. It's weird, this looks like a British countryside. So I would say we're probably in Europe. But the fact that we're driving on the other side of the road means it's obviously definitely not the UK. Or maybe that person was driving illegally. Oh, hang on, what did that say? Stop! Yeah, this road is this road is painted too nicely and fresh to be the UK anyway. Yeah, look at this fucking lovely ass little roundabout. Stop! Yeah, this isn't this would not be the UK. Villa Boys and uh, Yula Yula Gate. Charmant, Blanzach. I can't read that one. Le Petit Rock. France? Oh, are we in France? Le Petit Rock. The small rock. Write it in English, please! <laughs> the small rock. What do you think? Are we saying, should we say France? That looks French to me. Still not Finland. Should we go France? I, I kind of like France here. All right. If this isn't France, there's going to be hell to pay. It was France. Oh, all right. I'm quite proud. I think I got that one sort of, I got there by myself for that one. Hmm. Dovolino za Dostavo. Dostavo. Now these are very helpful. You need these in more countries. Or more bendy roads, rather. Yeah, I always know we need to find more information when I see the chat saying Romania, Slovenia, Poland. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we need more information. <laughs> oh, oh, Mostek. If I can get to like a man on a bike. Ooh, we've got somewhere. Sailor. Oh, Plastica. Plastica and Papa. Plastica, that's that's plastic, obviously, but in what language? Pozo, uh, Pozlovny object. Look for flags. Fashion outlet. Why are you blaring the fashion outlet? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The this is a really interesting place. Look at these fucking upside down triangle windows. Is this a train? Hang on a minute. Is it that's a railway? If we keep following, oh hello. Uh, well it's somewhere in Europe. 
Uh, is that a clue? Is that a flag? I can't tell. Slow? Is it say slow? Oh, let me go back. Oh, slow. So Slovenia. Right? Guys, we're killing it. Where is Slovenia? Slovakia. Um... Whereabouts is Slovenia? Below Austria. Ah, excellent. There it is. Hidden away. All right. Should we try it? Hey, okay, nice. All right. We're using our skills to, to figure out where we are. Our world skills. Just call me Atlas. Hmm. Nothing so far. I like the pink. Zon? Zon. Is that a, a make of um, satellite dish? My country? Wait, it is? Joanna, this is your country? Hang on. I see a, a sign. Uh, ven vende. Despertagora. PT, dot PT. Portugal, Portugal. Uh, Aridia Meal asks, have you played Kinseed at all? I've been playing it the past few days and it seems like your kind of thing. I have not. I'll write it down. Kinseed? I'll check it out. Thank you for the uh, tip. Are we saying uh, Portugal? Uh, let's go for it. Nice, correct. That was very helpful. All right, we're speeding along. All right, where are we now? In some kind of a murderous den. Could definitely picture somebody being killed out here. Dragged into a bush and fed to the squirrels. Where are we? We must find where we are. We must beat GeoGuessr. Guys, what if we complete GeoGuessr? Then what do we do? Corn? Are they growing corn? Quickly, give me a list of all countries that grow corn. Got nothing so far. Jeez, man. Again, like I was saying earlier, somebody, people built this house. I don't know how long ago. At the minute, I don't know where. <laughs> but people worked on this. People put it all together. And then they lived in it and they, you know, lived their lives, maybe had kids. Now look at it. I don't know, man. It's kind of sad. But then you got this place that's like perfectly... Well, maybe not perfectly, but it's intact. I'm Wait, is someone living there? I can't even tell. Needs a bit of plaster on the wall. Oh, I know that's how houses work. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to be a bit wistful for a second, you know. It's just something I think about a lot. How one day the houses we are all living in may well just be ruins. really getting anything from these houses. There's no signage. The other thing that kind of blows my mind is that there are also, there are people who live here. Living lives, probably assuming maybe quite different to ours. More agricultural vibes. <laughs> They're looking at the car. 
They probably, uh, yeah, don't see the Google car too often. Yeah, cannot work out where this is yet. <gasps> oh, dogs! All right, quickly, chat. What country has dogs? I need a, I need a list on my desk by Monday. Is this the end of the road? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's so annoying. We went all that way. I don't even remember which way we went to start with. <sighs> well, we've got nothing so far. Sheep? Sheep? Nothing yet, because we can't go into people's properties. What's the time, even? I've completely lost track of time. It's nearly seven. Okay. I'll have to wrap up quite soon, so maybe we can just tick off one or two more of these. I'm assuming I can't pick up from where I left off if I uh, have to leave this game. Digi. Doesn't give us anything. Oh, you can? Okay. Oh, our first sign. L Lubina? Jubina? I think we need more. Ooh, look at this bridge. A bit scary. I can't read that. I can't make that out. Maj? All right, we got more sign. Uh, Boj, Ostesinaj, Mosta. Give it my best shot. Hmm. I think we just need more. I think we need to find, like... We need a flag of some kind. I'm kind of amazed that stop signs are literally the same everywhere. One universal sign. Stop. This is a bus stop? Could this help? Nope. <laughs> Gage? Gage? Something about... Nope. And we're really out in the sticks here. Um... And there's no... No chains, no built, no, no, no nothing. <sighs> yeah, we're getting mixed messages. Some people think Croatia, some people think Slovenia. There's nothing that I there's nothing so far that I've seen that's sort of making me think one way or the other. Doesn't look like Croatia. Doesn't look like yeah, I would say from what I've seen of Croatia, which is granted not all of it, uh <laughs> it's doesn't look like it, but honestly, 
I don't know. Oh, we've got an actual, we got a sign. We got a, we got a big sign. Can we read it? Is the question. Bistro Cod Zok. Sack. Uh, no, I would know if it was Germany. <laughs> I can. I think I can understand Germany enough to. Oh, apotheker. Wait a minute. Well, <laughs> apotheker specifically. Uh, <laughs> I think it's. Isn't it spelled different? Is a pharmacy, is it not? Drugstore, yeah. Um, but it might just be the same in another language. See, we've got someone saying Bosnia for sure, and then we've got Slovenia for sure, and then we've got Croatia. Wait, we've already gone for one already. We already went for... Did we go for Slovakia or Slovenia already? We've already gone for one of those. Did we... Wait, did we not already go for Slovenia? We've already gone for Slovenia. You can get doubles? Rats. Okay. Damn it. I do declare it is Bosnia. You you do declare? Oh, God. There's a bathtub in the, in the garden. I want to know who these people are and why they've got a bathtub in the garden. I am all for this. I want to know more. Honestly, I want to know more. If we can just find a town or something, anything, Dungeons and Dragons. Trugovina D and D. Doesn't really help me. All right, I think we're just gonna have to go for one, and if we're wrong, we're wrong. You know, it's just the way it is. Sometimes you can, you can be wrong. It is, it is possible to be wrong. I'm getting a whole load of nothing out here. Bosnia. You got it? Should we try a... Oh, I don't know. People are so... People are so certain. Not Bosnia. Oh my god. Alright, what we got here? What's this? HR! What's dot HR? Dot HR is... Hungry? Are we in Hungary? Croatia. Why would HR be Croatia? There's not even an H in Croatia. <laughs> It is Croatia. All right, I'm sure someone had to Google that, but all right. So it is Croatia after all. Okay, fair enough. Where specifically is Croatia? Uh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Damn. I mean, to be fair, Bosnia, Slovenia, and Croatia, which were the three that people were thinking are very close to each other. They are very close to each other. All right, let's go for it. We need we need we need to move on. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. You guys are so good. You guys are so good.
Alright, we'll do like one more. Let's do one more. See what we got here. Thermal Park. See, this sounds um this sounds like it could be um Scandinavian. Visit the Thermal Park. But it's probably not. Furniture zone. No, Fortune Pension. Dot SK, Slovakia? SK, Slovakia? A hundred percent? TN Bunny style says a hundred percent. All right. This is better be it. Oh, we got it. All right, that one was so quick. We'll do one more. All right, where are we? God, there is a lot of the world that I just have not seen. Is what I'm getting from this game. Russia? I mean, that's the thing. The, the, the writing looks... Excuse me, what was that sign? like grabbing that child yanking him by the arm not russia yeah we need to find more information the website thing is massively helpful if you can find something that has a website that is super helpful loft club why is that sign so futuristic but the uh the rest of the building is not you expect me to believe this is the loft club That's like almost untouched. Ooh, got some kind of a park over there. These cars don't really, do these cars help at all? Oops, too far, too far. I think we need a bit more information first. A flag or a, a website could help. And we've had a, a lot of um, places over this part, uh, part of the world, haven't we? I have to take my piano exam. Big gulp. Dude, good luck. You're going to kill it. You are going to kill. It's like a car place. Fix up your cars. Dum, dum. Chat spot the red mirrors. You guys. Interesting place. I can't quite see anything yet that is helping me. This is GeoGuessr Meta. There's a meta to it. Oh my god. Hmm, I can't really get close to those signs. I can't get close enough to read them properly. If I can get close to one of them, it might give us a bit more information. Pepsi? Oh, hang on. What do we got? Um... Nope. I thought maybe there'd be a... I keep seeing this. I keep seeing... Abto. I don't know if that's the place. Uh, do the card number plates give you hints? Well, not really. They're blurred out. Sometimes you can make out like if it's from Europe or not. 
otherwise they are like fully blurred out. Yeah, I don't know if Abto is a... Oh, it means auto. Got you. All right. <laughs> I keep seeing this word over a car. Is that a place? Well, look, guys, we saw a place called Hammer earlier today, so anything is possible, okay? All right. Are we look. Oh, it looks like we're getting more towards, like, something over here. Lots of signs to look at. It's all blurred out. Whatever it is, they're advertising this thing over and over and over. Hmm. Anything here? Construction. Really getting anything out here. This is a really tricky one. I dropped on that exact lo same location earlier. Really? This feels relevant. Who is this supposed to be? This feels like someone important. Flag? Oh! Mongolia, right? Um, Teefs, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Okay, well... We got the flag, right? But I feel like this has got to be someone. This is way too, like... This is, like, really well done. It's too well done to be graffiti, I think. I think this is actually in the building. Well, I'm not saying that graffiti can't be well done, but you know what I mean? It feels like this is done... Or maybe it is. I actually have no idea. Um, but this feels like it's very specific. It must be someone important to the country, I guess. Yeah, forgive me. I don't know a whole lot about every country. You think it is graffiti? Very well done. All right. Uh, guess. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, so if I say next round, so if I quit out of this now, if I quit out of this, will it? Can we get here again on another day? It was a mosaic. It will remember. So if I go home, it should save your street. Well, let's try it now. If I go home and then I say, because we were doing world, weren't we? Play world? No, 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 no. Country. Your best streak is one. Fuck off. Oh, okay. I guess our streak is gone. How is my best streak? Oh, because I failed when I got one. Go to ongoing games. Hey, it's me! <laughs> uh, ongoing games. Where would I find such a thing? Oh, here we go. Country. No, not there. I don't want to do this. Should I delete that? It's this one, right? Yeah, country. Yeah, I can get rid of this. I can get rid of world. I'll keep this one. Famous places, oh, I was doing that off. I was just doing that. I did that yesterday just for fun. And it literally started me at the Sydney Opera House. I was like, well, I know exactly where I am. And then it sent me to the next place. I was like, I have no idea. Uh, all right, I can get rid of these. Famous place, I can get rid of that now. All right, cool. So there's our there's our ongoing, let's see if we can finish countries then. Um, can we complete the video game? We will see. Oops, but not today. Um, all right. Uh, 
quit. Wowie zowie. What a stream. My god. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was really fun. I really, really enjoyed that. Who would have thought it? Geogasser. I'd seen a couple of other people stream it, but I didn't realize how fun it could be to actually do. So, uh, yeah. Is the coat... Uh, is it fluffy inside? No, thank God. Otherwise, I'd be burning up. It's just lined. Otherwise, I would be burning up right now. Mm -hmm. I put my reputation on the line and won. Yes. Yes, you did. And I appreciate that. It's, it can be intense to put your reputation on the line. Yeah, there, I know there's a Battle Royale feature. I tried that yesterday, uh, like last night after the stream. I just clicked on it to see what would happen. I got wiped out so quickly. I just, I didn't know where I was. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you liked the stream, Mary. I hope everybody enjoyed it today. Will you be doing it tomorrow as well? Uh, you know what? I could do it tomorrow. I could do some more GeoGuessr tomorrow. If you guys, uh, I know it's not like a video video game or anything, but... Uh, if you guys are into it, I was really into it. I was really enjoying myself. Um, so maybe we'll do some more world countries. And honestly, doing the UK one gave me such a kick. Um, I feel like I wouldn't be able to do that in another... Well, maybe I could do America. Maybe. But I really don't know. I don't know America very well, but... I'm assuming most places will say, like, the state and the whatever, so... Yeah. We do need to get Ghana, yes, to redeem ourselves. Um, that would be that would be helpful. How many countries have I been to? Off the top of my head? Um I don't know, maybe like twelve? Where have I been? UK, obviously. Uh I mean I guess I mean the the easy the, the I guess the best way to do this is to look at a map. To look at an actual map. Hold on a minute. Uh, <laughs> I just realized. Why is it? Hold on a minute. Why is it saving my um, <laughs> my details? I'm on Firefox. Maps. Oh, it's not saving my details. Why did it do that? That's that's not where I am right now. Okay, I panicked for a second. It dropped a marker, and I thought that's where I was. Thankfully, it's not. <laughs> that is so weird. Why did it do that? Yeah, I'm I'm on a browser with no. Uh, I'm using Firefox. Um, for when I do stream stuff, I use um, Firefox, uh, which has no like I have no saved data on here. Um, that scared me for a second. No. All right. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, okay. Yeah, it really wants to show me uh, <laughs> those places. But thankfully, that is not where I am. <laughs> All right. So. It is safe to, it is safe to get this up. Uh, yes. Lewis... Uh, I don't know why it's really trying to show me Lewis and why it's really saying I'm here, but I'm not there and I'm not in Lewis. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Lewis is a nice place. Uh, I drive through there now and again. Uh, I've never stopped to like walk through the town properly, though. Yeah, I know Lewis. Yeah, I'm not going to zoom in. <laughs> that is scary. Uh, anyway, one, do we count... No, I suppose you don't really count Northern Ireland as... Is that... Would, would you say that? Wait, is that a separate country? Probably not, right? Uh, I guess not. All right, so... <laughs> I don't even know if it counted... All right, UK is one. Iceland, two. Uh, Germany, three. Belgium, four. France, five. Spain, six. Italy, seven. 
Uh, I need to zoom in a bit. <laughs> Amsterdam. Oh, Netherlands. Uh, where am I? Eight. Uh, eight. I'm looking. I'm trying to drug my memory. South Africa, nine. Australia, 10. New Zealand, 11. Japan, 12. China... I've only been to China, like, in a layover. I haven't really visited the country. But I have been to China, I guess. You could say I, I have entered the country, so 12. Uh, US, 13. Canada, 14. Off the top of my head, 14. I've been to 14 countries, but maybe there's something else I'm missing here. I can't remember. I think 14. Yeah, I think I counted Iceland. That might have been the first one I counted. I think I got them all. Yeah. Not been to Sweden, but I would like to go. Um, there we go. Fun. Almost accidentally doxed myself. Uh, but there you go. 14 countries <laughs> to answer your question. <laughs> Wait, did I say 12 or 14? Yeah, I think I would enjoy Norway. Nice, 14, okay. Uh, I think I would enjoy Norway. To be honest, any anywhere in the, any of those countries adjacent to each other, I think I would enjoy. Um, yeah, anywhere with pretty, anywhere pretty, really, that I can take my camera and take nice pictures of. Um, I feel like a... I feel like a mob boss wearing this. I feel like I'm gonna... But like a, like a candy floss sheep mob boss. I feel like I'm gonna like... Bring me 12 sheep. And I will not kill you. Today. Maybe. Soft mob boss. Kawaii mob boss. <laughs> That's me. Uh, right. Okay, guys. I better get out of here. Because I want to go uh, have some food. I want to go get some food. And I want to put it in my mouth. And I want to swallow it. And then I want to enjoy it. Uh, so I'm going to get out of here, but thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's stream. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, probably around 4 p.m.-ish, maybe. If not, I'll be back Friday. Yes. Uh, take care, everybody. Thank you for all the very kind subs and gift subs and bits and follows and chats. And thank you for helping me with GeoGuessr as well. That was super helpful. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Have a good evening. Goodbye.